Kenneth Copeland goes Hollywood on us. And I'm not talking about his usual preaching sermons. You are saved. Miguelito, here's me. You know we gotta talk about it here on All Things Theology. Cue my theme music. All Things Theology, All Things Theology, we chop it up properly without an apology. Gotta get that theology to God, hollow because this is how we do it at All Things Theology. Yo, grace and peace. Welcome back to another episode of All Things Theology, where this is your host, K-Dub. And today, we're going to talk about Kenneth Copeland's acting career. Some of you guys may not know, but Kenneth Copeland hit the big screen quite a few years in a movie called Rally L.A. I think that's what it's called. Um, let, let, me, let me show you the poster. You guys didn't see this? Guys, I had no clue about this film. Let's check it out. Look at Kenneth Copeland doing his usual thing, acting, right? This time he takes it off the pulpit and he hits the screenplay, right? He hits Hollywood on us. You know, Kenneth Copeland going all Hollywood on us, man. Y'all want to see this trailer? <laughs> it is the most bizarre, uninterested, I don't want to go see that film when it hits box office, uh, you know, trailers. I mean, you're supposed to make a trailer interesting. I mean, my goodness, let's, let's, let's watch this together. It is going to be rated rated H for heresy. <laughs> Fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. And we were, by nature, the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love, where would he love? If he actually produced we this movie, by the way, sin, uh, just FYI, have made us alive together with Christ. Good old Kenny. By grace, you are saved. No, he did. No, he did. <laughs> Look at Don Colio. Look at Don Colio. No, 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 no. <laughs> the, the, the grand, the great grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Godfather, the great grandfather, man. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Oh my goodness, boy, ain't no way, boy. <laughs> Kenneth Copeland has forever looked old. My goodness, but yeah. So apparently, this film is about uh, Kenneth Copeland. He's a uh, drug lord in this film, and he becomes Christian, and now he's trying to preach to his uh, uh, to his son. It looks like win him, convert his son. So it's pretty much a uh, documentary of his life. <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Miguelito, it's me. I need you to come to the house. Come. Look, it's old T-Bone. Have y'all, man, T-Bone, man, he been doing the same films for all his career, man. Every gangster film, <laughs> Christian gangster film, <laughs> he's in it. Quickly, please. He needs to break out his roles. My whole life has been this family. We work hard. I don't know. I can't take Kid the Copeland serious with that uh, Godfather ac accent. <laughs> he's just, yeah, he actually, he's actually not doing a bad job, but it's I just can't take him serious with it, knowing how he sounds. <laughs> Her name has respect. We say people do. I'm going away. I am leaving this kind of life. And I've got to go now. What I was is all pass away. Controlling people. Now, you, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about this film, you know, from a Christian perspective. If I wonder if this film actually has the gospel in it. Now, there's going to be something concerning even said in the end that had me, my antennas raised up. But, you know, let me just say this about Christian films. I generally don't like Christian films. Because the acting is just so bad, the plot's so dry. That is one area we can do better as Christians, you know. Hey, I, I might have to go Hollywood on y'all. See your boy in a, you know, in a nice little film. I'm just kidding. I'm not the solution. I'm just saying. I think Christians can do better because you're usually cheesy. I think of like what's the Face in the Giants movie? Just, just so cheesy. My goodness, come on, man. We got so much to offer. <laughs> That's not who I am anymore. He changed. He's gone. Official. I'm tired of hearing haters that whistle and sizzle when gangsters pull out their pistols. I'm like only trying to get 
T Bone snorting some Smarties. You know that some Smarties, <laughs> some flower. You know what I'm saying? In the middle and settle the difference because too many rappers is tripping. Don't nobody want to listen. Plus, I'm tired of all the cussing and cursing. So I started rehearsing, working on converting a better version for every person that's hurting, lurking, searching for lies. Kenneth Copeland worried about all the souls in this movie. I wish that was real life. <laughs> Come on, man. There's something over this big dark cloud hanging over the people. You know, eventually that that darkness it consumes them. It, it wraps them up. That's why this rally is so important. Growing up, everybody told me that I would not amount to anything. But you know what? One day, I heard God tell me something different. And What's a Christian film without God speaking to them audibly outside of the scripture, you know? <laughs> it's, it's, you know this is a charismatic film for sure. That's when I begin to see the things in a different way. Well, we've got to show them something different. Fresh annoying. Hey, I need you to do something for me. I need you to pull the trigger on someone. Take the shot. It's not that hard. <laughs> oh, uh, T-Bone contemplating the things of God. Man, he done got saved like 50 times in movies, man. Come on, man. <laughs> you got to get saved truly one of these films. You gave me your son. We're gonna have to edit that out, you know. We don't, we don't want any copyright infringement. Copyright, you know, some <laughs> showing someone getting shot. Sorry, YouTube. I give you mine. So the rally, LA. Yes. Uh, God gave Kenneth Copeland his son. Kenneth Copeland says, here's my son. <laughs> That's, it's an equal exchange, huh? So, yeah, that, what do y'all think? Are y'all now interested to see Rally LA starring Kenneth Copeland? I mean, doesn't that trailer just scream? Doesn't, that, doesn't it scream $9.95 at the box office? <laughs> no, that's definitely a matinee film. <laughs> I'm not going to see that film. I'm definitely not. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till the next time, go see a good movie. Grace and peace. Yo, grace and peace. Thank you for watching another episode of All Things Theology. If you enjoyed what you heard today, go on and give me a like. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. I promise to give you weekly lives, videos, interactions, exposing false teachers, sharing with you, the viewer, my theological beliefs, things about the culture and the Bible. So if you're here for that, come on and join us. Also, if you would like to support this channel financially, you can do so by becoming a Patreon member or a YouTube member. Links are in the description below. You can see content before it drops. You can also have Q&A sessions with also other Patreon members, YouTube members as well. So if you would like that, hit the description link in below.